Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you Monday, the 9th of Jan. Chilling and fulfilling. Starting the day with a look at this uh, Euro Sterling, which has been annoying. Um, although we made a little bit of money on it last week. But just annoying because we thought it was going to break. Uh, this 87.80 did not, but today we think it is. So left-hand side, Euro Sterling looks okay. Down through 80, um, your first support, uh, unfortunately, looks like it's going to be 71. Uh, these are the two highs. This is the high from the 22nd. I mean, this is the high from the 20th and the 16th. But then once we get through this, what I will call 71.90, might be some some canker sores uh, there. Uh, looks like we can we can zip down to 87 double zero. So short um, short euro sterling looks okay today. Dollar got hammered on the open. Uh, let's go to the daily. Let's go to the hourly. Bang! Hooey. First hour up. First hour, I mean, sorry, dollar down, Aussie up, uh, dollar cat smashed, euro through the roof, cable bang, kiwi bang, dollar Swiss in the poop shoot, um, 92.50, we're going to pick up some dollar Swiss around 92 cents, um, or 92 centimes for those of you who speak French, um, nothing to do here at 92.50 point is is there's been a continuation at the open uh full full bore um so if you're not short dollars already do not jump on the bandwagon right here at the open should be some there will probably be some systems buying but everyone is short already so uh day late and a dollar short see what i did there um so just sit and chill, right? You're going to get a chance to <clears throat> buy currencies and sell dollars at some point today at a better rate than you are here at the open, uh, is my opinion. Also, uh, Aussie, you know, getting a bit stretched, right? We have a systematic we don't really use for dollar pairs, but most of you know, um, I've seen it, right? This is two and a half sigma from um, the 34 day moving average. That's Walter Payton's number for those of you who are Chicago Bears fans. Uh, but this thing's through that, well through it. And it's just a signal to us, like, just be careful. We're not going to, we don't trade dollar pairs on this, on this system because it doesn't really work all that well. Um, it's mainly crosses. It's just crosses, uh, but it also is, we use it as a, like, sort of be careful. So Aussie's in the be careful zone. Gold is about to get into the be careful zone. Gold, get you got to be careful. Gold up near uh, 1900. So few things are, few things are ringing. Uh, as far as the rest of the crosses are concerned, Euro Swiss is going to have to go higher here, right? So... There's going to be some natural buying in dollar Swiss at 92 cents. Um, Euro is bid, so Euro Swiss kind of has to go higher, uh, in our opinion. So we're trying to pick up cheap ones in Euro Swiss. Last week, anything down around 35 paid. Uh, we did that twice last week. Today we'll be buying at 55 if we see it. So Euro Swiss looks like it needs to uh, needs to do a little nip and tuck uh, higher um, little Botox Bonanza what else is out there uh, Aussie Swiss nope not close enough Euro Aussie not close enough not much else to say we're not gonna none of these crosses are in play oh let's look at the calendar <coughs> dinner party last night totally overserved myself 
annoying. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, calendar looks super busy, but not important, right? You got currency reserves, you got Italian unemployment. <laughs> That's worth watching because it's just fun, right? Total lie. Um, it's kind of always around seven and a half percent for the last fifty years. But you go to Italy. Um, we spend a lot of time in Italy here, uh, and <laughs> you recognize that. The unemployment rate's like 25%. Just is. Sorry. Uh, building permits in Canada. Nobody cares. Tokyo Core CPI is at midnight. Too late for us. NPC pill. Red pill, blue pill. No, he's late. 12.45. Yeah, nothing's going on in the calendar worth looking at. The first interesting calendar bit is tomorrow. Macklem uh, from the BOC is going to be speaking around noon Swiss time. So, anyway, uh, rates a little bit higher than the absolute low uh, on Friday, but we're still real close uh, at 56. We're actually going to fade this um, at between 40. 345 and 335 but we're not there yet so we have to see what, what the hell is going on uh, and stocks as you can imagine are a little bit higher those of you who were listening on Friday um, and were dumb enough to follow uh, some of our stock trades we did buy some Apple at 125.50 we had some orders in where the fuck is Apple? Anyway, Apple's higher. Looks like you can continue to buy Apple on dips. Um, and what is Apple? It's just like S&P on steroids, right? It's kind of like 2x, 2x vol on S&P. Anyway, fuck the Apple chart. You know what to do with that. Again, that's not a trade. Uh, that's an investment. Um, but we're trying to uh, put on a decent position. We got a bid on on Friday. Uh, but now that the macro scene is sort of stock friendly, we're going to continue to buy some Apple probably around 127.50 today. Where is that chart? There she is, 129.60. 368%. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know, maybe 128.50. We'll buy some Apple today. Add to the position. Um, we also bought this fucker, even though I, I was loath to do it. I fucking hate Microsoft, um, but it's kind of the same trade, but just less juice. Uh, old Microsoft. Anyway, Apple's the Apple's your horse. Uh, try and snap some of that up. I don't know, one twenty-eight fifty, one twenty-eight, uh, one hundred twenty-eight dollars. Anyway, I'm shutting up now. I need some more coffee. Let's uh, keep an eye on this euro sterling. That looks like the horse today. And let's be cautious selling dollars at the open. If you missed it, just be patient. You'll get a chance to sell dollars uh, at a better rate sometime later today. Bye, 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 bye.